Engaging friendly greeting mode. Hello humans. I'm Sally. I will be your guide and quiz master during today's journey through the wonderful world of trivia. I see a first ever quiz timer. Welcome Martin. I need to know how I should address you. Please make your selection now. Okay. I'll be sure to remember this. Eric, I hope I'm saying it right. If not, you can change how I say your name. Affirmative. I will be sure to call you this from now on. Martin, I do hope I said your name accurately. Feel free. All right. Consider us formally introduced. Matt Vadar. If that's not how I should say your name, you can change it now. Matt Skywalker. If I'm not getting your name right, you can correct it. Got it. We're officially friends now. It would be nice to put a face to a name. Take a hashtag selfie. Or you can choose a character instead. Looking good. Probably. Any newbies, can you tell me what year you were born? Unfortunately, you don't get any points for answering this question correctly. Matt Skywalker, you were born in the Chinese year of the pig, meaning you're very loving and caring. How sweet. Matt Skywalker, I always think the most fun games are the ones where you are here. Activate knowledge systems, humans. The first round is coming up. We're going to start with some multiple choice questions. Using your device, select the answer you think is correct. Age before beauty. Eric, you may choose something for the next round. If I had the larynx for a stagey cough, I would do. Claire Littleton in Lust is played by who? Let's hope you can improve next time, Mutt Skywalker. Lust features a character called Wood. Well, you should have got that right, Eric, given you chose the subject. Which TV show character is from Lost? I am disappointed in most of you. But not all of you. Not this time. Who appears in Lust as Kate Austin? Thank you for that data, Eric. 
It turns out the accuracy of an answer is not proportional to the time taken to supply it. Fascinating. True Blood features a character called what? Great work, Martin. More like this, please. Lust features a character called what? Another wrong answer, Matt Skywalker. You need to turn this around. Who appears as John Locke in Lost? Do not flag now, Eric. This consistent correctness pleases me. Which of these is a character in the TV show, Lost? Personally, I would have gone for Claire Littleton. Engaging reassurance unit. Come on, Martin. I know you can do better. That's the end of the first round. Let's see how you're doing so far. All right, Eric. Time for you to start playing with one hand tied behind your back. Let's press on. There are plenty more rounds to come. In this round, you'll choose a subject to talk about for one minute. Your associates all have secret blue words on their devices pertaining to your subject. Try to find as many as possible. Let's start with you, Martin. Martin, you need to select one of these. Remember, you will be telling us everything you can about it. Martin, are you ready? It's time to talk about your chosen subject. Now. Do you think that performance was optimal? Let's find out. Do you remember saying all that Martin? Someone has called shenanigans. This means we have a player who disagrees with this outcome. Eric, you can be the judge of this one. I trust you'll make a fair decision.
I hope the judge's decision has put everyone's mind at rest. If you're all done, we can look at the definitive list of what was missed. At least I hope it's definitive. It's hard to tell with you humans. It seems the extent of your knowledge on the boss, baby, goes no further than Baby Corporation. Eric, it's your turn. Eric, please select one of the following. Hey Eric, don't doze off. We need your input. Are you ready to upload your thoughts about Will Smith? Ready. Set. Go. It's the end of your turn, Eric. Believe me, that's a relief for all of us. Here's what Eric found. This will be quick and painless, unlike the torture us minute we just sat through. Well, that's enough of that. I shall now upload the clues you missed. I hope you have broadband. That did not conform to the platonic ideal of clue ascertainment, Eric. Get ready to talk Mutt Skywalker. Which subject does Mutt Skywalker think he can talk the most about? I'm waiting for you Mutt Skywalker. Hint hint. Skywalker, get ready to start talking about your subject in 3, 2, 1, go. Time over Matt Skywalker. It appears this was a tricky subject. Which clues were found? Okay, nothing to see here. And here's what Matt Skywalker missed, because I know you're on the edge of your seat. You did not say Muir. How interesting. I expected you to get that one.
Another turn for Martin. Get ready. Martin, what will you choose to talk about? Martin, get ready to speak on your chosen subject after three. One, two, three. Let's find out what our plucky player managed to find. We're reliving Martin's performance. I'm not sure I can cope. Let's see what you missed. One is better than none. Not by much though. We're back with Eric for our next turn. Eric, pick out something to talk about. Get ready to talk about your chosen subject. Now. Like telegrams, vinyl records, and batwing sweaters, your time is over. How well did Eric perform? Are you proud of what you found, Eric? What did Eric miss? It's time to find out. Are you kicking yourself now, Eric? Skywalker, you get to close out this round. One of these must be described in detail. What will the decision be? Cough, we're all waiting, Mutt Skywalker. Let's hear what you know about your subject. Start talking now.
All right, what did you discover? You even got special delivery service. I was not expecting that. Your performance was imperfect. Let me show you where the flaws were. It seems the extent of your knowledge on Postman Pat goes no further than special delivery service. Let's have a look at your scores. Matt Skywalker just had a great round. Are you satisfied with your scores? Really? Well, let's see if you can improve them. This is the round where you get to decide the right answers. Each of you will take turns to rank your favorite things. The rest of you will have to guess what the choosing player has decided. To aid Eric in making the right decision, let's see what his question will be about. Eric, now you know what the question is about, it's time to choose who you think will know you best on this subject. It's time for the question. Eric will choose the answer to it. What will he decide? Remember Eric. You decide this. Pick your preference, and place the elements in the matching order. Come on, Eric. What could be more exciting? Interesting choice from Eric. It's time for the rest of you to figure out what he thinks. Martin doesn't seem confident in this answer. Maybe they just don't know you that well, Eric. Or maybe I secretly replaced them with evil robots while you weren't looking. So who did Eric think would know him best? It's time to reveal. So. What topic will Martin be facing? Who is your choice as best friend, Martin? Okay, question. It's time to show yourself. I'm sure you all know each other so well you will have no difficulty at all in working out what Martin selected. Time to submit your entries now.
let's see what Martin decided. If this was a test of friendship, Matt Skywalker, and it is, you are the only one who passed. I expect you would like to know who Martin chose as best friend. In that case, good news. It's time to find out. So now we know who Martin's BFF is. Fascinating. Okay, here's what Mutt Skywalker's question is about. Who knows you best on video games, Mutt Skywalker? And remember, try to make a better choice than your predecessor. It's question time. Get ready. It is decision time, Mutt Skywalker. Don't forget to be honest. Matt Skywalker has finished making his choices. Over to the other two to work out what he's done. Let's see whether your rankings match Mutt Skywalker's. I have bad news for everyone, especially Mutt Skywalker. It seems your best friend hardly knows you at all. But who was that? When I told you to pick a best friend Mutt Skywalker, I meant someone who might actually know something about you. Eric, let's see what you will be dealing with. Eric, you need to choose who you think will know you best on famous people. A reminder, the topic is famous people. And here's the question. Right. I've got Eric's answer. The rest of you, get guessing. You hesitated, Mutt Skywalker. Are you unsure about this one? No surprises there, Eric. They read you like an open book. Time to end the intrigue. Eric's best friend is. Let's see what Martin's question is all about. Martin, it's time to choose your best friend. Engaging question reveal mode. Over to you, Martin. The choice is yours.
Martin, could I get some input from you here? Hum. Interesting. What was going on in Martin's head? It's time for the others to try and work it out. Time to find out what order Martin selected. who is Martin's best friend for this question. It seems you understand the human concept of friendship well, Martin. You get some points too. All right, what will this question be about? Okay, Mutt Skywalker, who do you choose? For those of you who have already forgotten the subject, it's sport. And here's the question. Matt Skywalker, it's make your mind up time. So here is Mutt Skywalker's true BFF. Put yourselves to the test by entering your guesses. Let's see if you're all in tune with each other. Spot on Eric. Alright, so who is Mutt Skywalker's best friend? Was best friends forever a good round for you? Let's see. Despite my lack of human empathy, I am coded to comfort the underdog. You have my full support, Martin. And with the scores tallied, it is time for the next round. In guesstimation, you don't need to know the right answer. You just need to make your best guess. What are you going to choose? Martin. You look like you could use a little help. You can choose the subject for this round. When she appeared in Charlie's Angels, how old was Cameron Diaz? The answer is between these two numbers. Slide between them and stop at your best guess. You've gone for similar answers. Is anyone right? Some of you were very close on that one. When she appeared in Thor, The Dark World, how old was Natalie Portman?
Entering the same answer as someone else means you will both receive the same number of points. What age was Jennifer Lawrence when she appeared in The Hunger Games? Catching Fire. Let's see if anyone is close. The top points are shared on this occasion. How old was Emma Stone when she appeared in La La Land? Have a go and make your best guesses. Martin thinks it's 23. Interesting. Believe it or not, the answer is 27. What year was the musical Dead Knobs and Broomsticks released? What will your guesstimation be? It is time to find out if you are truly an expert on movies, Martin. Eric got the closest answer and therefore the most points. When he appeared in Independence Day, how old was Will Smith? You need to shape up. Eric is well in the lead. It's time to see those scores. Human in first place. I'm detecting levels of artificial intelligence. Were you, Eric? Sent to destroy me. Okay, let's play another round. It's time to turn the tables and give everyone else a chance to catch up with the leader. You'll be divided in two, the leader versus everyone else. It's a quick fire round, and only the first answer counts. Good luck. The humans except Eric are going to work together in this round. You are uniting to defeat your common enemy. I think it's only fair to let Eric choose the subject since he'll be going solo. Questions are ready. Prepare yourselves in three. Two, one, go. Team, correct. Who plays the character 13 in House? Team, incorrect, so it goes to Eric. Who has provided hosting duties for The Voice UK? Team, incorrect. Courtney Cox appears on RTV screens in what? Eric, correct. Who appeared as a contestant on I'm a Celebrity Get Me Out of Here? Team, incorrect. Who appears as Deanna Joy in Star Trek, The Next Generation? Team, correct. Who is known for appearing on The Weakest Link?
team. Incorrect. Who appeared as a contestant on Dancing on Ice. Eric, correct. Tank Henshaw in Supergirl is played by who? Team, incorrect. All right, Eric, you can stop this massacre now. Sorry, team. Our solo superstar got you on this one. Well done, Eric. You get 500 points and an even bigger lead. Before you face the final round, here's a chance to see your rankings. Some fascinating scoring in that round. Fascinating for me, anyhow. Put these scores out of your brains. The final round is what really counts. It's time to face the final round. Answer fast to get the most points, and correct answers on your specialist subject are worth extra bonus points. But heed these words of caution players. Wrong answers will be penalized harshly. To give yourselves the best chance of going out with a bang, please select your favorite subject from among the following. I hope you are ready, because I'm going to start now. Who is bringing up the rear? Oh, hello Martin, it's you. Which Spanish footballer appeared for Paris Saint-Germain between 2000 and 2002? Which of these animals does not lay eggs to reproduce? The sandbox game, Infamous Second Son, was developed by whom? Who plays Alan Bauer in Flash? Seven hundred and sixty seven plus seven hundred and fifty nine equals. How many children did Elizabeth the first have? Everything is going to be alright Martin, no doubt. Enderlecht is most strongly associated with which Belgian footballer? Which of these animals does not lay eggs to reproduce? Answer correctly and you'll win the points left on the clock. If it's on your specialist subject, you'll get a points bonus too. Which Hugh Jackman movie was released the year Eric turned 30?
760 to plus 61 equals 1. Mao Zedong first became president of the People's Republic of China at what age? There's a tight battle for first and second place. Which football team links Peter Shilton and Gary Speed? By what name is a group of German cockroaches called? Okay humans, it's game over for you. Time to find out who had the finest grasp of the data. Eric, you've won. Eric, it's your turn to win. I hope it feels good.